So, yep, guys, welcome back to the part one, to the part three. Sorry, part three. Yeah, part three. <laughs> okay, so as what we said in the last part, it was right, but I had a problem in my computer, so it should work with all all of you. But for example, let's say you have a problem, just contact me or leave me a message or just leave me a comment or send me a message on Ned support the vb3 at gmail.com okay so if you want to see how it works open it let me show you you're not gonna have the client but i have the client okay so hold on a second okay press connect press connect see the client's connected oh before we go ahead and do, we do the work let me just show you something before i test it I just want you to go to this one, go to the multi line, make once I make it through, okay? And what else? Okay, let's see now, test it, okay? Alright, let's see. Connect, connect, alright, see, accepted connection from 127.0.0.1, which is that's, that's my fake IB. Let's try, right? Hi. See, that's cool. Works. All right, sent. That's cool. Works. All right, all right. So that's good, very good actually for now. Also, if you say press con disconnect, disconnect from the server. So you see, even the send, the send button doesn't work. This one can send, but see, I got a problem. It says. Nobody is online, so you cannot send nothing. Alright, it's not a message. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Just let me add something else to the disconnect button. Go to the disconnect button, open it up. After end if, right? If cmd disconnect dot enabled. No, if cmd connect dot enable equals false then cm cmd this disconnect dot enable equals true okay so what just we did so wait 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 wait, wait. alright so just let me try something else okay so which one is do is this just delete this one, delete it, delete it. Go to the form, form. Open it up. Right. CMD disconnect, disconnect. Dot enable equals false. Try it. See now it doesn't work. Connect. Okay. So open this one. Right. CMD dot disconnect. No. CMD dot connect dot disconnect dot enable no dot enabled go back did this dot enabled equals true let's try it okay connect connect okay so works now let's do something else turn off Okay, open this one again the command write cmd connect dot enabled equals false. Alright, open it again. Connect disconnect connect disconnect. Turn it off, let's add something else to the con nah, to the form. Let's write cmd send dot enabled equals false to again. See now it doesn't work, nothing is working because it's empty. So connect. Okay, so let's do something else again. When we press send, cmd send dot enabled equals true. Okay, try it. All right, it works. Cool. Connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. Cool, very good. The connection connect connect oops 
Hold on a second. The connect. Go back because you made something. Some some stuff is wrong. Change it to this one. Yeah, there you go. I will disconnect one. Copy the code to. Go to the connection. Disconnect. Paste it. Alright. Let's try it. Connection. Connect. Disconnect. Cool. Very cool. Let's add something else. Go to the menu again. We want to add something else. Really, really easy. Close the connection. Make a new one next. Okay, right. Exit. And min. Exit. Alright. Let's call it alt. Uh, no alt. Just make it ctrl of 4 or just yeah ctrl of 4 okay ctrl of 4 okay go ahead let's name it e and d and that's it there's the program connection exit that's it all right so for now just go to file save project as go to wherever you want to save it wherever you want to save it Go uh -huh. make the proj. Okay, save it with for no. Before you save it, sorry. Before you save it, go to the form. Right click on it. Go to properties. Oh no! Go to the forms. Go to project properties. <clears throat> on the project type make it exe standard exe where it's gonna start from form call the project server and okay I want you to name this the form called it mm, server server all right just serv that's it all right so now it works cool Go ahead now, save it, save project as. Go to wherever you want to save it in. My project VB6. Alright, save. Save. Alright, very good. Now we finish with the server. Okay, so now close it. Close the program. Or just go to file new project standard dxe and there you go we open it make it bigger make the shape like that yeah go ahead make a label make another label Cause this label is good down name the label To the caption scroll down to the caption all right called it the IB scroll up to the other size make it true scroll down to the font make it Arial I like Arial actual whatever you want to put it make it bold make it 10 Go to the next one, go to this to the font, make it same bold, real or whatever you want, make it 10, okay. Scroll up, scroll to the caption, called it port. Scroll up, size make it true. Make it like that. Very good, very good. Okay. That sounds good. 